<laughs> it's a windy day in California. Yeah, it is super windy out here. Oh my gosh, windy. driving across the 40 last night. Oh my gosh, oh. It, it was, I had a side wind all day yesterday yeah. and then it died off a bit. And then yeah. when we did our swap and you took over, you got into some wind. Yeah, I got into a bunch <laughs> and it was, oh, it was blowing me all over the place. Oh my gosh. And we got our delivery done here yep. in Southern California. And now we are going to deadhead for our next one tomorrow, which you'll find out in the next clip. In the next clip. What that is. It's a short one. Yeah. But it's a good one. Yeah, it's good. It's, no, uh, yeah, yeah, it's all right. It is. And then we got a bunch of dead. Attention. Oh, oh, oh already. Monday morning. <laughs> Monday morning. Loads are popping up. Popping up. Popping up with them loads. Yeah, so. And then we got, yeah, then we got another one lined up. Got another one lined up that we have to deadhead again for. It's funny, this load we're doing right now, or deadheading to, <laughs> it was reverse last week yeah we were supposed originally called us with it yeah it was supposed to be picking up in california but now it's going to california so we're deadheading out of california <laughs> to get it to come back to california yeah. yeah yeah and it's about it's a little over 400 mile deadhead a little over that, yeah for 700 yeah, something loaded yeah, but all miles is paying really good so yeah, yeah we to, can to deadhead to pick it up De deliver it and then deadhead uh, another 400 miles to our next pickup which ain't till thursday so yeah, yeah. you guys won't hear about that one until the next video on wednesday but it, it still pays good so oh, we're yeah. we're like okay yeah he's all would that be something you would be interested in i was like yes well what's funny though is he actually had two loads for he us did. we were he gonna did. do two short loads but yeah. the one load the, when, because it flip flop, flip flop we weren't going to yeah. be it would have been too much deadhead to do the second yeah. one so yeah. he's got to yeah. get somebody else to do that yeah. so yeah. we would have had three loads this week but the two we have lined up are really good so yeah yeah we aren't complaining no complaints at all no we just stopped at a best buy because jason Ooh, yeah. i got um Ooh, yeah. the apple airpod pros i don't know it's it was a few months ago. Yeah, it was a and, few. Um, I love them. I had the original AirPods. Yeah. And I just didn't like how hard they were. They They're didn't hard stay on in your my ear. ear. So I got the pros, and I love them. And Jason's been trying them. So I, he, I've been I've been using her you, old ones for a long time, and say hi. I know I noticed how they hurt really bad. So we just went to Best Buy and got me the pros. <laughs> yeah, so he got some too. I Tax love right off. them. I, hey, headsets, text right that's off. Right. Really <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I love hey, them. You know what we should do? We should do a giveaway for the old ones. Oh, comment. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. If you if would you like wanna... to win our old AirPods, don't yeah. worry. We'll sanitize them for you. Yeah, we'll... we can do a giveaway for those. They still they're, work fine. They're still pretty good because yeah. we bought these brand new for her. She used them a handful of times. Yeah. And then never used them again because they were uncomfortable. And then we got the better ones for when they came out. And, of course, they're way more comfortable. Yeah. Like, it's weird. With the, the older ones, I, I can wear them fine good in my right ear. But then my left ear, it hurts really bad. Mm -hmm. So if I wear it for too long. So this case right here is a charger. And then you pull them out and then... You know, you can use it, throw it back in there, and the case charges them for you. Yeah, and you basically, <coughs> you charge the case, which charges the yeah, AirPods. And, and the case gives you about 15 charges. So yeah. one thing I do is I'll wear one in one ear, and then when that's dying, I'll put it in the charger and pull out the left ear and put that in. But the problem is it hurts my left ear. Yeah. The right ear is fine, so I, it really depends how your ear's shaped. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, comment down below. Yeah, if you think we should do a giveaway for those. Well, I think we should. Oh. <laughs> okay. Why do, why do you... Don't comment that you think that you... <laughs> Hey. We're, we're giving them away. <laughs> then we're going to give yeah, them away. Comment below if you'd like to win some if AirPods. If you would like to win that? some AirPods, <laughs> they're older, but they they're, still work fine. Yeah, they're, they're perfect, perfect, perfectly perfect new. They've yeah. hardly been used. So. The case got a little bit of scratches on them just from us sticking them in the, the cubby holder thing. Yeah. But other than that, they're perfectly good. Yeah. Yeah. So <sighs> comment down below if you'd like to win a pair, and we'll, <laughs> we'll use that random comment picker and find somebody. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. do that. Yeah. But, yeah. Or, yeah, comment if you'd like to win them and why you want them. That's a good why? idea. Why? So they can hear 
so they can hear on their phone. <laughs> <laughs> so they can use their yeah. hands oh, free. Oh, look at little airstream. Bambi. Ooh, a little tiny That's one. That's a tiny one. It is. But man, yeah, golly, it's uh, it is nice weather here, other than the wind. Other than it's the wind, crazy. hopefully you have a little bit of tailwind, but I think you're going to be driving straight into the Probably. wind. Probably, yeah, because so. I'm going to get us deadhead us to where we're we're going. We got to stop at a flying J and dump the pot and top our water off, which we'll probably be doing that in Barstow. Barstow at and the get some Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle for lunch. Mm -hmm. I was you read my mind. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that earlier. We should get Chipotle. Yeah. That's why we like stopping in Barstow. They got a TA, Flying J. Oh my gosh, they got all of them there now. Pilot, Pilot loves. loves. They got yeah. the outlet mall there. Yeah, yeah, They've right. got Chipotle. Gosh, yeah. But oh, man. this little guy's back on his liquid medicine back this on week. That's liquid stuff. He don't like it. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's like he's got to do that every on a week. I'm I'm mama. <gasps> I'm Daddy's give mama. me. Daddy's <laughs> give me. <laughs> he's protecting mama. You're a fool. All right. Well, let's get going. All right. Knock out this deadhead. All right. We'll catch up with you guys later. Cool. to hit record on the camera it's two for tuesday we just sat here and talked like a whole <laughs> clip and like five wasn't minutes even going. or more <laughs> yeah camera wasn't even going hey at least we realized it though and after we were done yeah. like yeah because jason will usually like check the clip after we record it just to make sure the lighting and everything was given yeah, and there was yeah. no clip no. No. <laughs> man well we are in nevada we got our load picked up <clears throat> i think we might have told you in the last clip we had to deadhead from california for it we had to deadhead to utah yep up by not, st george yeah not far into utah and uh picked it up and we're heading back to california but this time northern northern california, california. yeah it's about a little over 700 miles loaded. We've got 14 pieces at 760 pounds. A little short one. A little short one. We'll get this knocked out tomorrow morning. And then we got a deadhead again. For our pickup on Thursday. We got a pickup on Thursday lined up, which will take us, it's a long one over yeah, the weekend. Yeah, it'll take us over the weekend. Yeah. So, so. yeah pretty excited about that we are sometimes you gotta do those short ones you know and then yeah. it works out we don't mind doing short ones especially when the pay is good and even with the deadhead it's but uh we are gonna be watching our hours because we're getting we're on crunch time we're on crunch time especially with the one going over the weekend because we won't start gaining hours back until monday yep she's got 39 i got like 38 39 yeah. 40 maybe <laughs> yeah you got a time management man you got to watch your hours we don't have to do that that often yeah but we've been running and when you're running especially because there's some loads 
that require a certain hazmats require you to stay on duty um certain loads when customer requests that a driver stays up with the vehicle at all times yeah like a constant high value high, high value, value loads things like that so yeah so you have to stay on duty the whole entire time that load is on your truck so luckily, that eats up your time luckily this next one ain't that so yeah because we yeah. wouldn't have enough time we wouldn't even have enough time to do it mm -hmm. we would just be all out of time yeah and we so. were if we didn't have the deadhead between all these loads we probably could have worked in 34s but yeah i mean we're yeah. gonna have enough time it's just gonna be we're just gonna be really short once we get offloaded with the next one next monday and that's the thing sometimes when you book out loads this far you got really got to watch your time management mm. because if you book out too much and you actually don't have the time to complete the runs that could that would be bad that'd be bad that could <laughs> get you in trouble with some agents they might not trust you in the future you know who knows yeah it wouldn't be good though uh -uh. so uh -uh. you definitely got to watch the time management and it's just something you learn over time yeah. i don't think one person could ever explain to somebody and somebody completely understand hours of service i know <laughs> It's oh, I'm, really just something you have to get out here and do and, and do. learn. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we did a video on hours of service. Golly, that's probably like one of the first videos we ever did in the first year we yeah. started doing videos. Yeah. Yeah. And it is okay, but I know there's a lot of other trucking people that have videos out there about hours of service. But even then, like Jason said, until you get out and do it, it's hard to understand sometimes. Yeah, because, well, there's there's fluctuations on the hours of service, and you have to figure out which works best for your operation, mm -hmm. you know. And there's so many different operations. I know there's a lot of people who are exempt from certain 30 minutes breaks and just all kinds of stuff. So, yeah. Although I will say I am liking the new changes to the hours oh, of yeah, service yeah. with with the break thing and the eight hours, and it's been working really good. I, I, I like it. I like timing my fueling at my for my 30 minute break time, so then 15 minutes of it is uh, just fueling, and then the last 15 minutes I like, I'll check the truck out, make sure we ain't got nothing going on, tires, lights, no yeah. leaks, all that. And then like five minutes, I, I just gotta sit there for five minutes, make sure, yeah. and then get my 30 minutes, then I'm back on the road. Yeah. So it, it's more block, productive. We don't block the fuel pump, we will pull up. I have, so people can... I don't block it, but no. I sit there and I sit yeah, and watch my mirror, nothing. and if somebody pulls behind me, I'll pull up. Yeah, cause I can drive up to five miles an hour, or not, if I go over five miles an hour, it puts me on driving and then all that time was wasted. Yeah. But I can kind of coast forward like at two, three miles an hour and get out of the way. Yeah. As soon as I see somebody back there. But I know a lot of people, they'll just sit there. They don't care. They don't care. They I, don't. I, I, and maybe it, it could be because if they move their truck at all, it, it starts that time yeah. and then it would be wasted. So, like, I kind of don't blame them, but I kind of do. Like, yeah. it's get out well, of people's they, way. Yeah, the thing but, that it, like, is... Yeah, I get irritated sometimes when I'm fueling and I just see people, they're either just sitting there eating or... Oh, yeah, I yeah. Mean, I, you it, look over and they're all... If there's nobody, I mean, there's times like the middle of the night that, uh, yeah, there's nobody. Right, it's right, not like there's right. people waiting in line to fuel, but I've seen it at these busy truck stops at busy times of the day. Yeah. And there's people lined up to fuel and these people are just sitting there at the fuel pumps eating or... I, yeah. I do think this new 30 minute break thing though has helped with that. You think so? I think it's uh, alleviated, it hasn't eliminated it, but it's mm. alleviated it some. Yeah. You know, because drivers are able to, because before they would sit there 30 minutes, then do their fueling, and then you're talking 45 minutes, and so yeah. it was just take it way longer. Now they're able to knock everything out within 30 minutes. They should be out of the fuel island by 15, 20 minutes, but. Hey, it, it's helped a little bit, yeah, I think. Yeah. I think it's helped, so. Yeah, I, I'm liking it so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah No yeah. complaints on that, but yeah. we um, we stopped at a little hole in the wall truck stop last night. It was um, freezing cold. Oh my gosh, yeah, I was down in like the, it was like 30, Not four, that bad. 36, I we, think. We've, it was, been in, we've been in colder. Yeah, and I know it's colder sometimes <laughs> right now. People have been in in snow, but golly, it was so cold. It was cold. <laughs> I had to turn the it. heater on last night. S bar. Oh yeah, I love that thing. Love that S bar. Love it. <laughs> I wish we would have got it sooner in our other truck, man. Uh, I know, I know. I, I just put it off for so long. <laughs> we do that sometimes. We like, do procrastinate on stuff. Yeah, we want like, it. We we know we we know we need it or not need it, but it would 
make life better, <laughs> like the pre-pass. How long did it take us to finally oh get pre-pass? We did get the pre-pass uh, probably after we've been so under like a, a year third or two year. years. Was yeah. three? I don't know. It, yeah, it was, it was a, long a time. while. We and just, we, we just, were like, why didn't we get that sooner? Yeah, yeah. We always just pull in the way stations whenever they were open. <laughs> yeah. we, we, it was just what it was. Same thing with the toll tags, you know, it's like... Toll tags, yeah. We ran so forever without toll. We would always get cash advances oh, at yeah. the fuel pump. Keep so, cash yeah, we'd here. have like two, three hundred dollars cash every time we go to get New a York receipt every time. Which receipt. now with the toll tag, we just go through the the easy pass or the yeah. lane that you can go through with the toll tag, and then at the end of the month, I just print out the statement for that toll yeah. and write it off. So it makes it for, so much easier. For anybody who may ask, we have. Um, a Texas toll tag that works for all of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Then we have a NC Quick Pass, which when we got it, it worked for more states than uh, other Easy Pass states did. It works for Easy Pass, Florida, Illinois. So, and then we got a California one. It's just a little tiny strip yeah. sticker. The um, only thing we don't have one that works for is in Colorado. Colorado, Colorado is the only one we don't. And I know there's this uh, Best Pass out there, yeah. but they charge you. A, a monthly like, service. Get out of there. <laughs> She's trying to get in the trash. Get out of there. They charge you like a monthly service, and I'm not going to pay a monthly service. Yeah. We might uh, in the future, just depending. Nah, but... I'm not going to pay to have a toll tag. <laughs> that is... I'll yeah, pay kind of... the tolls, but I'm not going to pay tolls and then pay to have a toll tag. That just... Yeah. Maybe if right. I was a big fleet or something, but we're just one truck, and I'm like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes no, no sense. I, I, I mean, I mean we work. got little stickers. Yeah, our Texas one's just a little square sticker, the California one. Yeah. The biggest one is the uh, NC Quick Pass. Yeah. And... I mean, it's about the same size as our pre-pass yeah. little responder, so yeah, no. transponder, I guess you call it. But... All right. We need All to right. get going. Let's go. I'm taking over my knock out some miles, and we'll talk to you guys after we get delivered tomorrow in California. How did we get to Barstow? We delivered up north. <sighs> Change of plan. So <laughs> we told you, we well, we got delivered yesterday, Wednesday, yep. and then we got a call, was it Tuesday? Tuesday that the backup load we had out of here canceled. Canceled on us. So <laughs> we, uh, after we delivered yesterday, we drove a little bit south to start getting kind of closer to L.A. because usually we do better out that way. We always do better. Yeah. And uh, we stopped at the rest area in Button Willow, California, and stayed the night. We were going to try to get 34s just uh, for yeah. Heather to get a reset and, well, both of us really, but... But we had a big change of plans. Yeah, big change of plans. We, we have something going on that we have to get back home to Texas for. Yeah. <laughs> Which, stay tuned. You'll find out more about that in the next vlog. So in the process right now, we, we've made it to Bar Barstow, got fuel for our tummies and the truck. Attention, yes. a new important <sighs> message has arrived. <laughs> And uh, we topped off the water, dumped the pot. Yeah, we did all that. Got me some coffee. And we're deadheading to Texas. Yeah, we're deadheading to Texas. It's like a little over 1,500 miles we're deadheading. But you'll find out why soon enough. <laughs> big things happening. Big things. Big things. Big things. Always keeping you guys in suspense. Yeah. <laughs> gotta else, keep you coming back for more. How else we gotta keep you coming back? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I was reading the comments um, uh, in our video that came out yesterday, and one person made a really good point. We we were talking about how being a pa being patient is very important when you come out here into expediting. But he made a good point because freight does not always stay the same. Yeah, it's not consistent. It's not consistent. So you 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 have to really watch what's going on with freight and everybody and how freight's moving because there is a time that you need to change the way you're operating. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be flexible. You've got you to really have flexibility. You really have to be flexible. But you also have to be... When freight is good, be patient. Mm -hmm. When freight is bad... And Pete, you see a lot of people complaining on groups and, you know, all kinds of, there's all kinds of tell signs that are really easy to, 
see when freight ain't doing too great. People complain and saying they're sitting three, four days waiting on loads and mm -hmm. stuff like that. When you start seeing that, pull back on your patience a little <laughs> bit. You know, you gotta yeah. be, you gotta really be a little bit, you, you have to kind of follow the freight and, you know, know when to not take a load to a certain area because there's not a lot of freight out there, you know, mm -hmm. or. That's part of knowing how to run your business. You have to, look at all all areas you know like i know in our last video or last blog we were talking about how social media this and that but yeah. there are good things in social media like groups like, facebook yeah. groups a lot of carriers have facebook groups um you know other expediting facebook groups or instagram whatever it is you know even just listening to road dog radio if you have sirius listening to the freight lanes and they talk about freight lanes and how freight's moving and not moving yeah. and yeah. It may not apply to your application or your what you're doing. Freight is freight. I don't care but if you're freight exped is freight. Yeah, yeah. expediting tractor trailer, hot shot, mm -hmm. uh, all of it, cargo van. If freight's moving, freight's moving. Yeah. If freight ain't moving, it's not moving for all of us. Mm -hmm. But I, net I networking with other drivers, really, you can kind of get a feel. No, and not even just networking, yeah. just being in the same groups and reading what people are talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always following what the market's doing or what people are. You know, if people are complaining, they're not getting loads. I know at the beginning of this year, there was a big ordeal. Uh, people went to Washington and protested and, you know, about uh, agents taking mm. advantage of or brokers taking advantage of drivers. Um, when you start seeing things like that, because where are those guys at now? Yeah. Freight's good right now, you know? So, so nobody's complaining. No, nobody's complaining. <laughs> and we don't want transparency right now because we're charging <laughs> higher rates and we don't want everybody knowing what we're charging because yeah. that's that's our extra little money. So you got to take advantage of when the time is good, yeah. which everybody's doing right now, but are they setting aside for when the time is bad? That's the key. Yeah, yes. because at the beginning of this year, I mean, those guys were driving up to Washington, D.C. and protesting. I didn't, I don't have time to go drive to Washington. If people have time to drive to go protest, it means they're not working. They're not running freight. <laughs> they're not running freight. So. They ain't getting paid to go protest, that's and, for sure. And believe me, we're no experts on any of this stuff, you know, about how freight lanes move mm -hmm. and all that. But we watch, you know, and we save. We, we are always saving. We know what to look for for <coughs> the way we want to run and we operate. Yeah, and, and you know? the key, the number one key, saving money. Yeah, yeah, you got to have money put aside. You do. I mean, yeah. Because when freight's bad, you're not going to be freaking out when you're going to get your next load, you yeah. know? If you do not have money set aside, you're going to be that driver freaking yeah. out, protesting, you know? But that's how our business is. It's been like this probably since the beginning of trucking, you know? It's good, it's bad, it's good, it's bad, it's good, it's bad. Yeah. Big old roller coaster. Yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> that's our job, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's... It's just what is what it is. So you got to take it's advantage of the good times, put money aside, be ready for the bad times. Because I promise you, there will be another bad time oh, yeah. where people are complaining about rates and agents and brokers aren't being transparent. And That's the one thing we like about Landstar is no matter what's being charged to the customer, we get our percentage. Yeah, we know what. Yeah. So they can't say, oh, the load only pays a dollar a mile. I mean, yeah. if we, see, if the load, we know if they, what gross is, we know what, what our percentage is, what yeah, our percentage, percentage is. And what we're getting, so we know exactly. If they're telling me the load pays a dollar a mile, I know that's all they were able to get out of the customer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And customers know this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They know when freight is bad, and they yeah. know when to say, no, I'm not paying that much. Yeah. I can get another driver out there who's desperate for a load and pay cheaper. Yeah, well, yeah, like the, yeah, because when we were with Panther, and there's some other carriers that do this too, you know, we were on a flat rate. So, you know, say our, our, say our flat rate was $1.50 for what we would get loaded miles. They could have been charging that customer five dollars a $5 mile, but all we get's a dollar fifty. Yep. They could be yep. charging them ten dollars a mile. We get a dollar yep. fifty. Yep. You know that's yep. that's why we do in like Landstar, and yep. there's some other like I know FedEx the, the, doesn't do a flat rate. No, you know, no. but there are a lot like Panther, um, Bolt, X, Load One, Tri. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's because, not a bad thing. No, I mean we because when freight's years. bad, you're still getting your dollar fifty. That's right. The key to that is learning how to manage that dollar fifty.
right. or whatever their rate is at the time. And you learn how to manage that money because there's tons of people out here that make, they manage their money properly and they make great money doing that and they're happy. Yeah. So. And just because you're on a flat <clears throat> rate, say with Panther or wherever, that doesn't mean you can't negotiate bonuses. Yeah. Or, you know, get extra money. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's it, you know, there's pros and cons to each. This but... is the evolving change of trucking. Yeah. This is the business we're in. You yeah. know, if you rely on a consistent type of check every single week, trucking is not going to be the great one <laughs> no, for you. No. Because there is nothing consistent about trucking. No, not at you all. You have to be able to manage that money. No. All right, rant's over. We're going to go ahead and end this one here. Stay tuned to see what we're going to be doing in Texas. Yep. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until the next video. Peace, love, and expediting. You ready to go? You ready to go home again? Oh, you got green lights. <gasps> green lights. You got all of them green. Ooh, Halloween is in two days. My we're favorite gonna have to holiday. Do, we're going to have to do orange. <laughs>